being vertical. Oh my god, dude. No. <laughs> they, even get, they even get an and artist rendition. a whole lot better. Yo. To hold on to her back with one hand. <laughs> what is this? this is Aquaman right here. What is this? Yo. <laughs> Yo, what? next time I swear to God, hey girl, let me hit that guitar strum. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh That's my, my favorite. God. Ugh. Oh my good lord. Hello everyone, I'm Simon Toast Kin. That's Buff Pro. Today we're checking out a man who fell in love and had a relationship. A steamy relationship. With a dolphin. What? It's really like we stopped being two individual creatures and became one creature that was making love with itself. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the other guy? Where was the other dolphin? You know what I'm the, other the other dolphin's dolphin over there trying to call for like, help. He's like, bruh, he's going to come after me next, dude. Please help. <laughs> that just turned into something I've never seen before. Yeah, this, this, isn't, this isn't sexy beasts. This dude fell in love with an actual dolphin. And then, uh... Yeah, oh. they do a little story about him. So, yeah, we're going to check Ooh. out the Dolphin Lover. <laughs> dolphin Lover, the re the real life shape of water. Ooh. I don't know the what the quotes story are for. Yeah, what is Dolphin that? Man. <laughs> yeah, they're going to have a kid called Dolphin Man. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's a crackhead. He don't look nothing like a dolphin. <laughs> oh, man. But before we get to the video, please uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. You know? Please, please, and thank you. Leave a like, leave a comment, Absolutely. do all that cool stuff. Check out Buff Pro, Buff Pro on YouTube and Twitch. Check out my Twitch as well, Simantos Ken. Let's see how much this dude really loves a dolphin. This is Florida. Ah, yes. Of course. Florida. Home of Florida, man. Yep. I first discovered Florida land as a tourist, being taken there by my parents in the mid-1960s. Florida land. Florida land. Florida land theme park. The Holy Land Holy experience. Land experience. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the holy the birthplace land. of Florida, man. All right. Well, this place doesn't exist anymore, I guess. Splashing around in their pool, the Indian fire eater, the Western shootout, uh, all the tacky. You can treat. tell why this place is probably got shut down. The dolphin show entailed a lot of things wow. that you don't see in dolphin shows anymore, like dolphins wearing floppy hats or dressing up in hula hoops. Jumping through. F that was on fire. Oh, my God. This is the dude. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> Does this look like a guy that would love a dolphin to you? Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. So they don't they don't torture the dolphins anymore or as much. They don't make them jump through flaming hoops and dress them up and things that could you know harm them. Okay, well that's good. Gotcha. I'm glad to hear that. I thought, I, the way he was saying it, I just thought that the dolphins had changed styles. Like, bro, they don't wear the the big hats <laughs> no more. They like, you know, what I'm saying they got the do rags with yeah. the with the bandanas. Say that uh, Florida land was very dated. They had they had very st stereotypical and insensitive things going on, and uh, they dressed their dolphins up. But no more, no more. Gosh. My name is Malcolm J. Brenner, and this is the story of how I fell in love with Dolly the dolphin. He said it with a straight face. He looked like he about cracked up saying <laughs> that. Okay, look at Joker's you know in love with Dolly the dolphin. It's still better than his mother, I guess. Um, oh, uh, oh, uh, right now, please, I can't. Uh, she stared up at us, and we stared down at her, and the writer said, this is Dolly. There were no intimations that this dolphin and I would become lovers eventually. Wow. They it met each other. Not love at first sight. They stared at each other. I, I was waiting for it. I was waiting for the love at first sight. He was just like, yeah, that's a dolphin. <laughs> it's looking at me. Cool. Nah, he said he had to work. He said he had to work his way into love with this one. You know what I'm saying? It's like... <laughs> no, man, there was no no initial spark. Like, it's, yeah, it, was, yeah. it was pretty bad. We had I mean, to do Dolly, you know, she saw him and she was kind of like, ugh, nah, bro. And he's like, all right, you know, man, I'll work on it. <laughs> you know, I'll tell her about him. I'm a journalist, you know, I write things. I'm a photographer, yeah. girl, you know. He was out so, there just pouring beers into the water. <laughs> <laughs> say, are you saying this guy looks like he would go out there with like a bag of rubies and just start dumping them in the water? <laughs> you leave uh, Dolly alone. I was fascinated. I'd never been that close to a dolphin before. I was enormously interested. Oh, wow. This, is this him? That part, dude. That was him? Yeah, what happened? <laughs> I don't know. Too many, got... too many shrooms, man. It was the 70s. I slipped into the water with her. She wouldn't come anywhere near me, of course. Yeah, she's like, no, dude, you're freaking weird. Get away from me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She stayed on the other side of the pen. And then the assistant trainer uh, began urging me to swim out to to take the first move, you know, to be bold, you know. Okay, so he's got he's got his wingman trainer. You know, be bold, go out there, you know, you know, make the first move, go out there and uh, say something to her, you know, what's up? Hey, yeah, right? hey, yo, she looking at you, dog? <laughs> yeah, just swim out there, you know, make it <laughs> hit that doggy paddle. You gotta try, shoot your shot. I started rubbing her forehead. 
She seemed to enjoy that, so I started rubbing her along her back and working my way towards her, her flukes, her tail. Okay, all right, dude. All right, come on now. Oh, leave the flukes alone. He's enjoying the story a little too much. He's just thinking about it right now. It's like, oh, yeah. Right. Oh, the dolphin. Oh, boy. Right. Like, the dolphin's exhausted, bro. Let the dolphin rest. You just chased it around. You just said that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, leave the dolphin alone. <laughs> Uh, Dolly was slowly rolling around her long axis, so that by the time that I got midway down her- Look at that, look at that. she's giving that oh look too, like, oh yeah, bro, yeah, I like <laughs> run. That's, some, that's that good stuff right there, bro. <laughs> Let me just roll over here, let me get some milk you can rub on, you know what I mean? <laughs> Like groceries, baby! <laughs> midway down her body, I was rubbing her belly instead of rubbing her back. And she swam forward a little bit so that I was rubbing her genital slit. And then she stopped moving. I like how he didn't stop rubbing either. He's like, she, she, she took the lead. I just like kept moving my hand like this and she just moved it to that spot. And yeah. And I thought, oh, this is embarrassing. I just didn't think that that was the kind of show that, uh, you know, parents would be bringing their kids to Florida land to see. <laughs> well then stop doing it to the dolphin yeah, well, then this, we'll this, see is, it. this sure is embarrassing I'm, I'm sure parents would be appalled What I'm doing right now The oh dolphin's my. over there's like yeah bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Hey yo do it again Do it again To so swim along with a riverboat in the intercoastal waterway And jump for fish which her trainer mm. would be holding On the upper deck of oh, She's just hungry she's like gotta jump out of the water to get her fish and everything this Dude, look at the side sideburns though Bring those back Dude Yes. Like three on the side of his head. Dude, I love sideburns. Mm. Those are my jam. She would approach me, unafraid. She would solicit attention. I never fed her. I never gave her any kind of food rewards. Her courtship, as it progressed. The courtship, as he calls it, as it progressed. I never fed her, you know, I never enticed her. She just, she knew what she wanted, you know? You know, I never <laughs> rubbed her where I shouldn't have rubbed her. Nothing like that, of course, you know? Ugh. Like, dude, you don't, you don't understand this is like an animal, dude. You, you, I mean, I know dolphins are smart and everything, but... That dolphin was out there, like, laughing at this dude, like, <laughs> talking to the other dolphins. Like, hey, yo, watch this. I'm gonna go drop him on his, on his forehead. Watch this. <laughs> Her courtship, as it progressed, got more vigorous and intense. She would rub her genitals slit against me. Are you sure she wasn't just swimming beside you? Yeah, I know. It's like, he's over here, like, she kept doing this, like... And he's over there acting like he didn't... He hadn't encouraged it at all. Come on, man. Come on, dude. She wanted to bathe on my foot. She threw herself on top of me and pushed me down to the 12-foot bottom of the pool. Those were the those were the tactics that she was trying on me at first. So the tactics she tried on me at first was trying to drown me. But, you know, <laughs> I think it was Sally, out of love. It was out of love. Just, just for them feet pics. You know, that's messed up. <laughs> Sally. <laughs> Sally. Dolly, Sally, what's her Dolly, name? Dolly, Dolly, yeah, <laughs> Dolly. Dolly need them feet pigs. She might open her jaws and run her teeth very gently along my arm or my leg, which produced an amazingly erotic feeling to me. She tried to get up on his foot and he wasn't having it. And then she, she put him down on the bottom of the 12-foot pool and he kept getting back in there with her. Mm -hmm. You know, if the dolphin tried to drown me, I wouldn't get back in the water. Like, period. A dolphin threatening me from the, from the water when I'm on the land don't really mean nothing to me. You yeah, know, like yo, dog, <laughs> talking that junk. Come back up. I mean, bam, start throwing rocks. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, talk that junk some more. And then she rubbed her teeth on me, and I and I was like, oh yeah, that's the good stuff. <laughs> I wanted desperately to have a relationship with a woman. I first realized I was sexually attracted to animals when my father took me to see a Walt Disney movie called The Shaggy Dog. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! Oh, man. No. Bro, not the shaggy dog. Come on, man. Don't start. <sighs> Come on. Let, let, some things need to be not sexualized, dude. Let let some things be innocent, like this dog. Jesus Christ, dude. <sighs> Come on, man. Come on. At least Lassie. Oh, I just want to be. I just want to be normal so bad. Oh, you guys just don't understand how I feel, dude. Shut up. He could have chose between old Yeller, <laughs> <laughs> Lassie. <laughs> Are you judging him because he picked the shaggy dog? <laughs> yeah, man. Look at that dog. His hair is all ungroomed and unkept. Like, that's bad taste. <laughs> Strangely enough, I found myself getting an erection at five years old. After that, I was aware that there was something different about my sexuality. At then, at that point, before I even knew yeah. what that was, I was I knew something was different about it. Your, your boy was five years old. Didn't even know what that stuff was, but I knew right then. <laughs> In contrast to a bestialist who might just have sex with an animal and walk away, 
A zoophile is somebody who has tender or caring emotions for their animal partner. Oh, so it's a little different for him because he has he has feelings. He ain't just trying to get that. He ain't trying to hit it and quit it. He's trying to right, right. All <sighs> okay. the bestiality peoples is you know on like on the sites. You know what I'm saying? Just swiping right. They don't care. You know they they there for that. But this man's like bro, but I love her. Yeah, he's got real feelings. Shake my head right now, you know. <laughs> I, I, I just get this man some tuna and tell him to get out of the get out of the water for their animal partner. My first sexual encounter with an animal came when I was about 11 or 12. Not, not, dude, not the family dog. Come oh. on, bro. Come on. See, now the story, the context we're getting, the whole <laughs> beginning is starting to make a little more sense. So his his animal thing had already existed, and he's like, well, she came up and started doing all this stuff. What, dude, you you instigated. You did it. Right. Don't even, don't even try. <laughs> don't even try. The dog was in heat, so I naively assumed that, uh, since she was having sex with a stud dog, she would be willing to have sex with me, which she wasn't. It was an embarrassing incident. God, good. Dog was like, yeah. dude, what are you doing? Oh, gosh. That was embarrassing. I felt a little embarrassed, you know, because she rejected <sighs> me. My parents came out and saw me. Dad just, dad just didn't get me. Then he drop kicked <laughs> me and said, get away from the dog, you weirdo. <laughs> I told you to feed the dog, not, no, what are you doing? It made me feel very embarrassed. It made me feel abnormal. Made me feel like I wasn't one of the guys, you know? Because the other guys would be telling dirty jokes about girls. I just couldn't care. I thought he was about, I thought he was about to say something. And I threw my joke in there and they all just kind of stared at me like, bro, what? You did what to your dog? <laughs> bro, a turtle, a dog, and a, and a dolphin <laughs> walking to the bar, right? <laughs> oh my God. Whatever I was getting from the dolphin seemed very fulfilling, very rewarding. It was it because that, you know, He's under the water, and he, no one can see what he's down there doing to that dolphin right now. Is that? <laughs> like she was the only female who was really paying any attention to me, and that made a tremendous amount of difference. Yeah, the, 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 all the pictures just have a, a whole different vibe to him now. Now he's just over here. Yeah, like, they do. He, I couldn't do it. The water was too cold. I felt very nervous. I felt like we were going to be discovered at any moment. Oh, you felt like it was wrong. Yeah, you felt, you felt huh. like... <laughs> Huh. Performance anxiety, bro. He just couldn't do it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what? The, the water's cold, right? It's not usually like this, I swear. <laughs> yo, yo, Mr. Krabs, look away, look away. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I think that what made me a zoophile was the physical and sexual abuse I suffered at the hands of a psychiatrist in my youth. Okay, so a lot of what he just said, we're probably not going to put in the video, but he talks about how uh, he was a, a victim of molestation from a psychiatrist uh, I don't know why I was going through the psychiatrist <clears throat> to begin with but uh, uh, as, a, as a young man and so he is saying that he found comfort in the animals so I don't know dude it's I don't want to be completely just cold hearted about this but right. it sounds like he's right. just doing to the animals what his psychiatrist did to him at this point yeah but, and that's messed up you know what yeah, I'm like, yeah <sighs> my man yeah, but, needed help and probably had no way of Ugh. addressing that or getting right. it, you know, that sucks. Let's get back to the funny stuff. 150 years ago, black people were considered a, a degenerate subspecies of the human being. And at the oh time, miscegenation. Oh, who said that? What the hell? Where is he going with this? What is he going with it? What? And I'm hoping that in a more enlightened future, zoophilia will be no more regarded as controversial or harmful than interracial sex is today. Wow. 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 Whoa. He did not just say that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is uh, bold and offensive. <laughs> and wrong. <laughs> Holy crap. Wow. So he just compared okay. people of different races having intercourse to him banging animals. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Well, that's still humanity. You know, there's still... It's the same species. Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> oh, in a more enlightened future, you know, we go to the store and pick up. Oh, that's a cute family dog. <laughs> Dad, what are you doing to the puppy dog? Oh, don't worry, little Jimmy. This is normal. No, Jesus <laughs> Christ, dude. You guys that are using the, 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 the Google Doc to to recommend videos. I've been on it. You got. <laughs> My mind has been just blown. <laughs> yeah, for real. I haven't even recovered from the last video yet, and this dude just hit me with this big brain. Okay, all right, anyway. I, I, I prefer the guy who banged his car. 
<laughs> it would bring the dude with the car back. Yeah, bring the car guy. I successfully made love with Dolly the last visit to the park that I made. The park had been <laughs> the very the last time I ever saw her is when I did the deed. Okay. Yeah. And then they put this and made a prison after that. Yeah, they said, bro, you can't come back. What are you doing to our <laughs> dolphin? I went down to the park that day without any real idea whether I was going to be able to make love to her or not. Oh, well, obviously, you had a plan to, though, because there. no one's there anymore. The park's closed, and she's got this new man in there with her, and you're feeling a little jealous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you're about to, you're about to, you're about to show, show him something. Oh, no. <laughs> Your ex is back, baby. What's we up? We started a very long courtship that lasted about half an hour. Frankly, it was a little difficult to make love with her. Yeah, frankly, it was pretty difficult, probably because she was like, what are you doing, dude? Being vertical. No. Coming into her from the oh side. Oh my god, dude. No! They, even, they even get an and artist to work a whole lot better to hold on to her back with one hand. <laughs> this is Aquaman right here. What is this? Yo. <laughs> Yo, what? next time I swear to God, hey girl, let me hit that guitar strum. Like... <laughs> <laughs> oh That's my, my favorite. God. <sighs> oh my good lord. I felt this just intense uh sense of merging with her on every level emotionally oh man mentally we became one i started playing <laughs> boys to men in the background <laughs> it's really like we stopped being two individual creatures and became one creature that was making love with itself <laughs> That is exactly what it was like. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, what happened to the other guy? Where's the other dolphin? You know, what the, other the other dolphin's dolphin over there trying to call for like, help. He's like, "Bruh, dude, he's out there like, yo, try <laughs> let me out of this piece." He's gonna come after me next, dude. Please help. That just turned into something I've never seen before. It felt transcendental. Bro, you're a druid now. Oh my god, he's a druid. <laughs> he's just, he's just, dude, they transformed together. <laughs> It's so, this is so uncomfortable and awkward. I don't know what to really say about all this because he just keeps, he just keeps, As he's going. I climaxed. I, I oh, wanted God. to get out of, no, get out of the water. She made a <laughs> series of three groans in a rising cadence, and that led me to believe that she had also experienced an orgasm. Stop, dude. She gave me that wee wee wee. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> like, wee wee wee. <laughs> I don't know how to feel. I don't know. Oh, oh my God. He's lucky she didn't do that hootie hoo and go, you know what I'm saying? Get the homies out there. That'd have been your butt, homie. Jesus Christ. Clam over to the wire fence that encircled the pool. The one that I cut to get in. And Dolly swam up to me. She laid her snout on my shoulder. She embraced me with her flippers. Now he's just making stuff up now. Yeah. She laid her head on his shoulder and blazed. Embrace with the flippers like well, what? other people claim that I must have raped the dolphin My response is that you can't outswim a dolphin in the water. Michael Phelps could not outswim a dolphin in the water Thinks my boy Michael Phelps is that slow I can't believe it <laughs> I can't believe it my oh. man. It'd been easier for her to stay in the pen where the male dolphin would have protected her from me. She chose to uh, Squeeze between a couple of boards and get into another pen where we had some privacy dude I am disgusted. This dude is delusional. Oh, the rationalization here. All right, I'm not. I'm not going to add anything to it. I'm just going to. I'm just going to stop and go really from time to time and let let, us, let him talk. Their claim that this was rape is based on a a whole bunch of fallacies. I couldn't find any moral or ethical objections, and I still don't. There's no moral or ethical objections. He doesn't see any of it. He doesn't see anything wrong with it. He didn't hear no no. Gross. Because it's, it's a dolphin. Gross. Get out the water, homie. I don't feel like I really got to explain it. Like, he, it's an animal, That's... and he made the animal feel good. And then, you know, the, and I, it's not... I, I don't have to... You guys get it. Uh, this is wrong. Uh, this is wrong. Yeah, dude, this is jacked up. In fact, I think it's fair to say that if I hadn't been involved with Dolly, if I hadn't been in love with Dolly, I never would have bothered to write a book about the experience. Oh, wow. Well, I'm glad you wrote a whole... He wrote a book about this. Called How to Go to Prison for Dummies. He wrote a he wrote a <laughs> book about this. <laughs> wow. This was just some farm boy with a goat. I'm not sure that's a worthwhile story. Oh, I'm pretty. Bro, but yours is better. <laughs> yeah, if it's just something to do with a goat, yeah, whatever. Goats, blah. Dolphins, though. Oh, that'll sell a book now. Let me let me write about that. Oh, 
I'm sure everyone. I'm sure they just flew off the shelves, dude. Everyone was like, "Holy crap! Is that the is that the story about the dude who banged a dolphin? Woo! It's gonna be a good read. I'll put it right next to Fifty Shades of Grey. Hot dog." I'm pretty convinced that Dolly was also in love with me, just from the way she behaved. I'm convinced that we. Were he keeps he keeps putting so many feelings of his into the dolphin. He's projecting right. so much onto this dolphin. Right. I'm oh, convinced just... that that didn't happen because you waited till everyone was gone every single time. It keeps it gets creepier and creepier the longer this goes. I woke up from this horrible nightmare, dying dolphins trapped in a very dark basement-like setting. I woke up. I literally couldn't breathe. My heart felt like it had stopped beating. Wow, they, 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 they were connected on this level that he had to dream about something terrible happening to her. Okay. Yeah. He probably took it to his basement. So uh, Dolly had died. <gasps> Dolly, no! I felt like the breath had stopped in my lungs. Later on, when I got a vehicle, I drove to Mississippi and... Oh, you... <laughs> <sighs> of course he did. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> How did I know that? How do we know he was coming, dude? How did I know? <laughs> I had to go back to my people in Mississippi, you know? <laughs> yeah, you know? <laughs> I had to go tell my boys. Uh, Earl and Jimmy. It's not like human breathing where if we go unconscious, we keep breathing. The dolphin can go into a funk and uh, just stop breathing. And that is apparently what happened to her. She committed suicide. Jesus. I feel so bad for this dolphin. I do too. Real bad. And he's going to be over there like, it's because she loved me so much. It's because she loved me and the heartbreak did it. No, dude. It's not. Because you, sir, you need taste. Dolly died of a broken heart. I do feel a lot of responsibility for Dolly's death. I feel like emotionally I should. Yeah, you should. You should. Yeah. You, you good. Probably, yeah, good. Jail. Should have been there for her. I feel like in a sense I abandoned her because I was too concerned about the feelings of weirdness I was having. I feel, yeah, the feeling of weirdness, yeah. the feeling of shame, and the that's feeling what, of regret, and yeah. That's what the, killed her, the weirdness. The, the, the feelings of, how do I explain this to myself to where I think it's okay? Yeah. I, I, was, I was wondering that, this, this whole story, like, what happened if they were so in love, and then, like, he just didn't chase after anything? He's like, oh, you know... It got me some dolphin, and that was the end of it. And he didn't hear about her again until she died. How long? How long? Right. How 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 much time passed? My man, here's a liar. He's a hit it and quit it kind of guy. You know what I'm saying? He's not that lover that he said he was. Jesus he's, Christ. He's worse than the goat man. Would I change being a zoophile? I don't know. What I would change, I think, is the ending to the story with Dolly. Is that what you change? He's like, no. But uh, what I would change was, you know. The sad story. Uh, he's now retired and lived quite life in Florida. I forgot this is Florida. Why am I surprised? He enjoys close relationship with his daughter. He's got a daughter? No. Oh, no. It's time writing advocating on half the humane treatment of marine animals. Well, I mean, it's good that he's you know, trying to save some animals, but I mean, you just imagine the dude going to SeaWorld the whole time. He's just like, oh, yeah. yeah. Is that good stuff? I don't imagine. I don't imagine I'd I'd be down with the way he saves he wants to save him, you know? Like, Holy crap, dude. God, someone wrote a whole book. <laughs> is that him? Is that him? Uh is that yeah, I think it is actually. I hope you get tased, Malcolm. Ha! Huh. You know, I started this Ugh. video being like, oh, this could be a great video to ha <laughs> this dude's what, what oh this dude's disgusting. Ha ha ha. And he is, but it's like, ha ha, oh. Oh no. Yeah. Dude said, I mean, I clicked on the video. I have only myself to blame. Yeah. Yikes. Oh, forget the strip club. I'm going to SeaWorld. Oh. Let us know what you think in the comment section. Uh, I'm sure that there's plenty more that I could have said that I don't, these videos are just blowing my whole brain. Like, I need to watch these videos ahead of time from now on just so I can actually make some, some freaking statements yeah. or something. Uh, but I'm happy that I could share that with you on my platform. So, uh, leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, if today's your birthday, happy birthday. Say toast to my friends. And I love you. More than I think that guy actually loved that dolphin because, yeah. I bet he likes seafood, though. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, he's allergic. Yeah, me too.